what is going on everyone, this is Wicked and tonight I have the honor and the pleasure to show you the latest Kyushin ROM version 9.0 Ultralight Edition. This is a streamed out ROM, as you may see, we have a couple of apps installed here. Actually, it's kind of the most slimmed, stripped to the minimum ROM for the Galaxy S4 right now. Um, exception to this rule will be the Slim 8 optimized version by GDC but we're not talking about stock um, Android experience right now we're talking about Qtion ROM version 9.0 in this review I will cover up the performance part the, and I'll give you some status about the um, smoothness, stability, features, battery life and as I told you performance so, without further ado, let's get into the main review, Qtion ROM 9.0. Let's talk about the performance right now. This is a damn fast ROM. Believe me, it's still one of the best ROMs made for the Galaxy S4. And if you just search YouTube for Qtion ROM 8.0 Lite, you would already know that I made a video about that and I still consider this the best TouchWiz ROM ever made for the Galaxy S4 on Lollipop, pay attention. I'm not talking about KitKat ROMs. These are my this is my craziness about KitKat ROMs, I still believe they are more optimized than, than Lollipop ones, but take in mind this is running Lollipop version 5.0.1. I would rather say this is the best ROM you could get on this platform running TouchWiz. Okay, as I told you, Qtion ROM version 9.0 Lite running Qtion kernel. So, all of you guys asked me about uh, qu um, not Quadrant. Quadrant was another benchmark application, but the Antutu benchmark score I get every single time, and I replay replied to them in the same way every time. These numbers doesn't mean shit to me, but for you guys, because you always ask, I did a Antutu, Antutu benchmark, uh, you know, um, experiment, experiment and I got 32,531 points. Yep, this is my score, I don't know if whether it's bad or good, it may be bad, it may be good, I don't know because I haven't always tested out uh, benchmark applications. I do really care about how the phone feels and how it behaves in hand. You can get a high score and if it moves and feels like shit, you won't give a crap a damn. You won't uh, give a damn about it. So, yep, that's uh, the performance part. Let's get uh, into another cool feature of this room which is um, Qtion's own uh, you know congratulation method so thank you Qtion for making the best room and also I think this is the slimmest touchways room uh, ever made for the Galaxy S4 just take a look at this couple of apps I mean there are, let's see, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 apps installed by default because I installed Antutu Benchmark. So 20 apps installed by default. This is great. And it is a slim ROM. That means it consumes less RAM. As you may see here, 71% used. But I have a bunch of apps running in the background right now, as you may see. And yeah, this is a major drawback of this ROM and, or, and of course on uh, any other Lollipop based ROMs on TouchWiz. As you may see this is a kind of nasty lag if you ask me. You may live with it but yeah, it's pretty damn nasty and that's why I got uh, a really good uh, status at performance. Not the best, not 10 out of 10 but I got the 9 out of 10. Uh, for the performance status, which means it's actually close to the perfection. Close to perfection, it opens up uh, applications really quick, switch back and forth between the apps again really quick. My files again, phone application, 
blazing fast, not a single problem, messaging application, you know, everything is working as it should be. So, yeah, you can't uh, really reply to this. Okay. Another thing that uh, got my attention, speaking of performance, is how smooth the notification bar is. And I don't think this is the stock notification bar which comes with the stock ROMs, I mean stock firmware. I don't remember it to be white. It would rather be, you know, kind of a bluish tint. But I, I really like it and uh, I have to say it is blazing fast and it, uh, it uh, didn't put me really... It made me really upset, like other, you know, touch with ROMs would make me to, maybe to believe that uh, Samsung is really getting uh, on my nerves with the shitty lag, but not on this ROM. This ROM is really um, fast. So enough with the performance part. Let's get into the stability part. Okay, so stability part, I give this a status of 10 out of 10 because I couldn't find any bug on it. It is running rock stable and it uh, should be because it is a, it is a stock touch with ROM and uh, it, it should be stable, it, should, it shouldn't it should have any bugs. Everything is working from the location I tested by myself, Bluetooth. Uh, the mobile data, of course, side key panels, as you may see here, everything is working perfectly, I haven't tested them yet, but um, you also have the ultra power saving mode in the battery settings, you have the touch sensitivity to increase the sensitivity of your touch screen, multi-window, of course, works as it should be. As you saw that bar over here, actually you will just have to long press the back key in order to activate it and it is working flawlessly. As you may see it also works like a minimalistic window or minimized window which is kind of cool. You can extend it if you want to. Uh, I, to I think you can also drag it, but uh, yeah, I'm not that good at it. So stability status for me, you were able to make calls without a problem. Believe me, uh, yep, no lag at all. Everything is working as it should be. Messaging application works. Everything works perfectly. Clock settings again, everything you need to. This is a rock stable ROM. If you want a rock stable ROM, then you should definitely get this one because this is by far one of the best uh, ROMs ever made for the Galaxy S4 and thank you again Qshan for that. So, um, that was all about stability, everything is working perfectly. Um, this lag still upsets me the most of, uh, about this ROM but I don't think, I think there should be a fix for it. Qshan, if you watch this video please make sure you do something with this lag. I think it's a scrolling lag, something related to cache or maybe something related to the Android runtime, but I don't know. So um, that's what about the stability part again, a uh, status of 10 out of 10 rock stable. And we'll get into the battery part right now. So battery part, battery status, I rated it 8 out of 10 because um there are some problems with with the battery life and i also read it on xda either way you may be able to customize the battery life by going to Twix and you know customizing the cpu governor to a more uh, energy saving one and so back and so on and so forth and uh, i got a really good battery life while you know trying this rom um, I installed it at 92% and now I'm 80% but I haven't done much things especially I have uh, installed and did a quick benchmark and you know browsing seeing some features 
but not such a big deal and right now I'm at 80% which is not that good if you ask me. I may be wrong but I rated the battery status at a number of 8 out of 10 so it is pretty impressive for Lollipop ROM you guys may like it uh, but my strong recommendation for this ROM is to test it by yourself because you'll not, you'll not, you'll not regret it uh, you'll not regret a, s a single second if you try it it is blazing fast, it is rock stable it is what uh, I call a uh, almost perfect ROM and uh, believe me I don't always rate ROMs like that almost perfect is close, really close to perfection if there wasn't the scrolling lag, lag right here then this would be kind of a perfect ROM yeah, everything is working as it should, it is slim uh, you have some dark wallpapers everything is working as it should be and uh, uh, you have bunch of a uh, couple, actually not bunch because there are not so many but you have some add-ons right on the um, XDA forum when you can you know set the clock to the center but uh, you can do that by using an exposed module by the way exposed is working on this but I wouldn't recommend it because it's not that stable it still remains um, very stable for the KitKat but not on the Lollipop because it's not officially supported so yeah that was pretty much it so yeah we have a bunch of uh, different features here including lock screen uh, effects which are really beautiful um, the usual stuff you'll find in settings accessibility menu and um, yeah that's uh, that's pretty much it so i hope you like my i hope you like my video it's kind of getting late so excuse me for my blah 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 you know and um, again please make sure you check this room and if you like my video please make sure you thumbs up for me and for this beautiful M4 in the background with these um, bikes and on headlights and uh, again thank you for watching if you like my video please make sure it thumbs up and subscribe right on my channel by doing so you'll keep me motivating doing these kind of reviews for you guys and uh, I hope you like it please um, thank you for watching guys Wicked is out bye bye